Hi friends, this is Dr. Vineet Gupta from MIST. This small video which I am sharing is to all the foreign medical graduates all across the globe. This COVID-19 coronavirus situation has been declared as a pandemic. We, as doctors, are really proud today that we have got this opportunity to serve the human population. Though we understand it is not easy globally. I salute to all the doctors, not only in India, but all across the globe, including United States of America, Europe, China, the larger parts of Central Asia. What a nice grit and determination they have displayed without thinking that they are going to lose their life. They are fighting out with COVID-19 patients. And the doctors are able to contribute almost in a similar way like a soldier who is standing at the border fighting against the enemy in a war type of situation. I salute all the doctors, all the paramedical people, all the administrative people who are deeply involved in saving these, the unpriceable human lives. In this situation, we all, even if we are working, but we have to follow all the instructions laid down by the different government authorities. It is very important for all of us to practice hand washing with soap and water at least for 20 seconds unless a nice foam has been generated in the hands, both on the power side as well as the dorsal side. It is also important to have good quality food at this point of time with a lot of vitamins and antioxidants and especially I would like to focus on the vitamin C. We all know that vitamin C is known to contribute to maintain the integrity of our mucosa and the epithelium. So if the mucosa of our nasopharynx and the other parts of the body remain intact, then this COVID-19 may not be able to penetrate through that barrier. And that is how we can prevent this COVID-19 going into the deeper tissues and into our blood. Not only this, we know that we have to maintain a social distancing at least one meter distance, if possible two meter distance, that is just to avoid coming in contact with the droplets here and there. When we are talking also, if we are talking to a COVID-19 patient, there is always a risk that when he is speaking out, he may throw those droplets out. In our country, in this lockdown situation, People living in dense areas, it may not be practically possible to maintain that one meter distance inside the place where they are living. But try to maintain it as far as possible. Whenever there is any cough or any sneeze coming out, always try to minimize the spread of your droplets. Either by doing this type of movement as everyone is telling us, or use some tissue paper or handkerchief so that those things remain there and that can be discarded in a closed 
dust well. At this point of time, we have to maintain a proper hygiene. We are living in our homes. Try to stay as much positive as possible and also give this positive energy to the people around you because they are also having the same sense of fear inside. So it is our duty not only to fight with the patients per se, but also to give the strength, courage and motivation to the people around us so that they also remain positive and they don't lose their focus, they don't lose their control. So this is also something important to spread at this point of time. Try to respect everyone around you. Now, I would like to share an important message for those students who are preparing for the foreign medical graduate exams to be scheduled in the last week of June 2020. What you need to do at this point of time. First of all, there would be two questions which you would be going through for how long this lockdown will continue. And second, will your exam be held on the same stipulated time or the date may change? Honestly speaking, what I personally feel is the answer to both these questions depend on how our country is able to fight out with this COVID-19 situation. The lockdown, if continues till 14th of April, which it is going to continue, if we are able to break the chain of transmission, if the situation shows some improvement, and if we feel confident that by breaking this lockdown, we are not going to increase the risk of COVID-19 in the society, then yes, it is possible. The second reason to be positive about breaking of this lockdown is a big thing in our country is the poverty. People how will they survive if the lockdown continues? How will they earn their bread and butter? This is a big question. And I firmly believe that our Prime Minister, Sir, is taking good thought about it. And it's a tough time for him as well to balance out these two situations. He knows that if he continues the lockdown, it might hamper people to have that food which is important for their living. On the other side, he has a challenge that if he breaks the lockdown and this COVID-19 spreads in the community, then it might be a bigger impact. So, he would be deeply thinking about it and he has to weigh the advantages and disadvantages and give us a solution. So everything is going to depend on the COVID-19 situation two days before 14th of April. If the COVID-19 situation worsens and it continues say up to May or maybe in June, then yes, the lockdown will also have to be extended, though in a physical manner, taking care of the poverty thing. Also, at this point of time, the exam, which is likely to be conducted in the last week of June 2020, this exam, might have to be delayed if the COVID-19 situation continues even in the month of June. But if we are able to stop this situation by 15th May or 20th May and suppose in the month of June everything becomes normal in India, 
then definitely this exam is not going to be postponed. Because India need doctors. India need you. India wants that you complete your exam, come out with flying colors and serve this humanity. The impact of this COVID-19 is not going to end soon. The impact may be in the terms of health, may be in terms of poverty, may be in terms of business and so many things. That is going to take a longer time for so many countries to come out from. So at this point of time, what we are required to do, we just need to stay focused unless and until we know about this COVID-19 situation by 14th April, 15th April or 30th April or 15th of May. We will not be in a position to comment anything about it. So we have to stay strong, we have to stay positive and we should feel that we will be able to fight out with this COVID-19 situation. That means we are definitely going to stay focused, work as hard as possible in these trying times. Those who are studying for this exam, stay focused study for 10 to 12 to 15 hours a day, attend your online classes on a regular basis, appear in all the tests on a regular basis, keep your plan inside absolutely clear, work hard, motivate yourself, be positive, motivate the people around you, respect everyone. And if you are able to do this, as soon as the situation clears up, we would also be having a lot of clarities. Till the time, stay safe, stay inside, stay positive, stay strong, work hard, be positive, respect everyone, motivate everyone, and nobody on this earth has the power to defeat if you have taken up this challenge, nothing is impossible. Fight it out and you will do it. God bless you all. Wish you all the best.